When I'm getting ready for a fight, you got to keep it fairly primal. I mean, it's it's a battle against a, another tough guy that's trying to take your head off, and and um, you know, but there's always distractions. So talking about this being the last one is 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 no different than having a big event on first time doing this or first time doing that. It's it's all the same stuff. I'm gonna get in there and fight a very tough dude, and I'm prepared for that. I, I mean, I think without a doubt, I, I am physically where I need to be. I'm, I'm skill levels there. I think it's just the emotion has been different as of late. It's not a bad thing. It's just kind of like immune to it. And I've always done this for the experience, you know, and, and I still enjoy it, but it's just not the same. And I have a lot of other irons in the fire, so. Um, you know, it's not. It's like it's like risk reward. It's it's a very difficult life in here, grinding every day, fighting fighting these young cats. Like Cody Garbrandt is about to fight for the world championship, and and the, the guys have been with me since they're nine and ten. They're now 21 and 22 and 23. Uh, I mean, I love it, but at the same token, if I don't call it quits at some time, I'm gonna keep doing it. It's just too easy, too fun, and and uh, it just makes sense to be able to to focus in another direction, you know, make a clean cut right when I'm I'm still, you know, in my prime and and you know in a place that I love and that I can evoke some real emotion out of in this in this experience and and then go on to whatever's next. And I, it's not like I'm starting anew. I've been working on all these different projects so it's gonna be more of a focus on that with less of a grind on my body. Yeah a little bit. You know I was I was watching some of my old fights and uh, you know I've Exchanged some text messages with with Brad, who's who's a guy that I've been friendly with for for years as a as a fellow fighter, and um, it is a little bit surreal, but you know you can't you can't get uh, distracted from from what's really going to happen. There's no doubt in my mind that Brad's going to be trying to knock me out, uh, submit me, and everything else. So uh, I'm not going to let that happen. You know, I, I I feel like you know this is a a fight that that is very dangerous and so I have to focus on that first and foremost. Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, Sacramento is a big part of my life. This this arena is a uh, is is kind of a marker for our for our for our community because we almost lost our team, which is a huge, huge force in our community. The Sacramento Kings almost went somewhere else. This arena never was almost was never built. Um, so we had to fight for it. So being able to, to represent here, to be able to to have a final fight in this new arena that means so much to me and so much to the community is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I gotta go out there and perform. You know, Brad's not an easy guy to, to, to finish and he's known for having fight of the night experiences for everybody and and uh, that means uh, it's gonna be a, a war. So uh, I'll be I'll be prepared for anything and I'll take a I'll take a quick win or I'll take a hard fought battle, either way.